Hey guys, it's Anne, and I'm here today with another quick video to help you with your stamping. Have you ever needed a particular color of Stampin' Up! ribbon and you didn't have it? Maybe you hadn't ordered it or Stampin' Up! doesn't make it. But I want to show you today how to use your Stampin' Blends to color any different kind of Stampin' Up! ribbon. So let me make a quick switch to the camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty, here we go. Let me zip on back here now. Alright, now what I want to show you is you can pretty much take, let's just move this forward a little bit. There we go. You can take any kind of Stampin' Up! Uh, ribbon. You could probably do it with any ribbon, but why wouldn't you want to use Stampin' Up! ribbon? And then just use your Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol markers. So in this case, I've used my uh, metallic coated uh, white ribbon with the silver coating and then this is some of our new lace trim ribbon and I you'll notice that instead of coloring on my grid paper I'm actually using a clear Stampin' Up! block and I want to show you how easy it is I'm using a light pool party blends on the satin ribbon and then I'm going to use a light Highland Heather on my lace ribbon. Now look how easy this is. And let's turn it over so you can see it colors on both sides. And the best part is by, um, obviously the blends will soak through. So if I were to color my ribbon on this paper let me just show you it would bleed through here so that means whatever was under the ribbon it would bleed through and ruin the stamping surface but if you use any side of our any size of our clear blocks then all you have to do is take our uh, Stampin' Chamois and you just wipe it right off and you're ready to go. Well, that's my quick video for you today, my quick tool tip. I'll see you next time for more um, Stampin' Fun tutorials and tips. You can visit StampMaven.com. And if you have any particular challenges in your stamping, just give me a quick email at Anne at StampMaven.com. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course on YouTube. See you later.